I just took this outside yesterday and um, took all the body filler and fiberglass off these joints. I don't know if you can see, but through here it's paper thin. You can actually put your whole finger through. And what they've done is they pop riveted a piece across the bottom and then they'd gone under on the top side and they'd poured this fiberglass in from the top side. So all these joints through that side and that side, I mean they've they've widened this guard by about four inches, three inches, four inches, whatever. And all the joins, that side, this side not so bad down there, but it was a butt join and it hadn't adhered together. And so, seeing I was going to paint the other side, I had to take all this off and I'm going to fiberglass the whole thing back up. There's where the angle grinder went straight through there, that's how thin it is. That's um, millisecond, you know, bag of oil in it. Um, this here, there was massive amount. There was probably 20 millimeters of bondy fill in there, body filler. Um, it also had a big aluminium piece screwed onto the, popped onto the edge here to give them their curve before they started filling it up, which I had to cut those off. This one's the same. You can see the piece they've put in here and then around. You can see the piece they've put over there. Uh, there's a bit of bit of body body filler in there, but I don't think that'll matter because it's because it's curved so much there'll be a lot of strength in that bit anyway. Um, here's where I got a bit close to the paint and gone right through. That should be right I think. There's a big big crack through there. That was an original crack. I may have to, after I glass this, I may have to take the top side off a little bit. Now here's the one I did a lot, uh, quite a while ago, I did this one ages ago because this side here was a lot narrower than the other side and um, the wheel was rubbing on the top so I actually moved that out by about 30 mils, 27 mils or something, I cut it and moved it out. So I didn't have to do that guard this time. But um, here's their job that they've done. I'm not quite sure how they did this one, whether they've put a whole piece in here or whatever, but um, I have to refibre glass all that up. And there'll be a lot of strength in that. If I put three, four, three or four layers on that, uh, I think there's going to be heaps. Oh, it's all sanded down. It's all ready for all these. It's the whole thing is there's holes everywhere. Every part of the panel's got holes in it. This I need that one because of the steering column. But there's holes everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's holes. I need those. They're a body mount. Those ones there are, are mounts. So we'll get stuck in. I can't film. I can't film while I was sanding this, and I can't film while I'm fiberglassing. Both jobs are so messy. Got some supplies. That'll uh, that'll do us for a little while. Um, this one here, I'm, I've got to take or redo all the dash and redrill that dash, so I might farm that one out to one of the fiberglass guys in town. We'll see how we go. Uh, a bit of practice, I might get into it. Oh, this is the other thing I did. This had 11 holes in it. There was holes around the old filler. I cut the old filler out and I put this new small filler in. And I have a flush mount filler. That was a two inch filler, now I've gone down to 38 or whatever it is, inch and a half of the thing is. So there was heaps of rust holes along there, there was a hole there, cut, 
two or three holes around there. There was three or four holes down there, and I think there was a hole underneath there. So I cleaned it up, primed it, repainted it. So won't have any, hopefully you won't have any trouble with that because to take a tank out of these things is you've got to take the whole bonnet, everything like that off and all the steering out and, but at least this time if I want to take the bonnet off I'd better unplug the wiring instead of having to cut the wiring to get the bonnet off so I'll see what happens now, finished all the fiberglassing finished that one just put a uh, one coat on all the holes and I will bog all the holes from the other side. Finish that one. This side was a lot easier. That wall there was a little bit thin so I decided to put a extra wire, extra layer on that one. That'll put another millimeter on the wall thickness on that one. Finish the front one as well. That's all done. Um, popped all the holes, fixed all the holes in there, there was a couple of layers of fiberglass on some of those that one there is the um, steering column, that one there is for the wiring, I almost bloody <laughs> fiberglass that one up yep so she's all finished on this side, now we'll be able to tip her back over and all those holes that were in it I'll put some body filler, you know, on all these, all these bits. They've got um, a piece behind them. Now I just put to fill them up with body filler in the front. Should, should be right, I think. Also, have fixed all the holes in the dash. Um, that one I just put powder and did those ones. That one's got about five layers on it. And these ones got uh, three or four layers and that one's got a couple. So the dash now won't be full of holes. I'm only going to have a, f a few gauges and a couple of bits and pieces up there and it's not going to fill it with junk.